Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to discuss why if you know about no contact and you don't get your ex back, most likely it's your fault. Getting an ex back can be so easy, so freaking easy, and you are making it complicated. I've already walked that path for you through my own experience and the experience of my clients. I know what you need to do at every stage of a breakup, but there's no point in having the knowledge if you're not going to use it. So stay tuned because I have a lot more to say on this topic. But first, I have to, of course, welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you have not yet downloaded my app Silencio to help you stay in No Contact, then go to the link underneath every single video and podcast and download Silencio. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before you purchase the book. Okay, so I am heated today because of a comment that I saw on my page, my YouTube page, and I had to jump in. And that's what got me thinking that I need to make this video because y'all are messing up for no good reason. There's no reason why more of you should not be getting your exes back. And he says, she broke up with me three months ago after six years together. I've been in no contact for 46 days and I'm so close to reaching out because I can't take the torture anymore. I'm spamming that panic button like crazy. Okay, so let's analyze this. That means he was in contact for 46 days. I don't know when he found my channel. Maybe he found it after 46 days and he started doing it. Okay, fine. And he says he can't take the torture anymore. Uh, too bad. Too bad. It's either the torture of staying in no contact or the torture of being rejected again. Pick your poison. And if you can't take the torture, it's because of your anxiety. So hitting the panic button, he's referring to my app Silencio, uh, is not going to fix that. If you have so much anxiety that you're hitting it every day, 10 times a day, 100 times a day, that's not what the panic button is for. It's supposed to be for once in a while, if you think you're about to break it, you hit the button. If you need to spam it, then you either need to be listening to my no contact playlist or you need to be in therapy. Because hitting the panic button on the app, I'm sorry, but (laughs) if you're that far gone, no. So I had to jump in and tell him, please do not break no contact. And he said, okay, I'll listen uh, because I was this close to breaking. And I don't know how many videos of mine he's listened to, but I have said time and time again, never, ever, ever break no contact between days 45 and 60 that is when you're most likely to hear from your ex. That is the absolutely worst time to break no contact. And it's also the time when your ex will be most most anxious and you will be most anxious. Again, I've laid everything out. I told you what path you're going to be walking on as you go through no contact. It's not like, oh, Lucia didn't tell us about this. No, no, I know what you're going to be feeling and I know what you're going to be thinking. And that's why I'm telling you not to break no contact between days 45 and 60. I don't care if you're dying. Well, I do, but you know what I mean. I don't care if you can't eat. I don't care if you can't sleep. I don't care if you can't go to work. I don't care if you want to sleep all day. I don't care if you're crying all day. I don't care. Stay in no contact no matter what. Because what exactly do you think you're going to get by reaching out, especially between days 45 and 60? And in fact, that's what I asked him. I said, what do you think you were going to gain? And he goes, well, honestly, an agreement to meet up and talk. And I said, the chances of that happening are slim to none. All of y'all think that you can talk your way back into a relationship. Guess what? You no longer have any power with that person. What? Now suddenly you're this great orator. You're this great debater. And you're going to be able to talk your ex into coming back. Did you have to talk them into dating you? No. So what makes you think you can talk them into coming back, especially when you now have no power over them? The only power you have is no contact. 
and that's where you want to start it as soon as possible and stay in it. That's the only way you're going to get some power back. And you think, well, we just need to talk. They don't want to talk. If they wanted to talk, they would have reached out. Oh, but there's a misunderstanding. Well, even if there was, guess what? If they had a high interest level in you, they would have done everything to clear up that misunderstanding so they wouldn't have to break up with you. But they didn't. They chose to walk. Or you may say, oh, but, but now I'm in therapy, but now I've changed. Okay, but unless they come looking for you, they don't care that you're in therapy. They'll be happy for you, but they don't trust that you're going to change just because you're in therapy. And they're going to assume it's going to take ages for you to heal or to get better, even with the therapy. And the only way that you can show them that is to show them through your actions, through not reaching out, through not acting quote unquote crazy, not by telling them, well, I'm in therapy now. Oh, okay, then I'll, I'll get right back to you or right back with you. And then he goes on to say, well, so-and-so said that I can reach out after, you know, a certain number of days. And I hear this all the time from my clients. Well, this other coach said I can reach out. This other coach said I can reach out. I'm not referring to one specific coach. So when you're trying to decide which coach should I listen to, should I listen to Lucia or should I listen to everybody else who's saying to either respond to breadcrumbs, respond to every single message you get or to reach out after a certain number of days. All right, let's use this analogy. Let's say you need a criminal attorney. Hope you never do, but let's say you do. What kind of criminal attorney do you want? Do you want an alpha or do you want a beta? Do you want someone who's going to play by all the rules and be nice? Or do you want a pit bull of an attorney? Do you want someone who will do whatever they can to make sure you don't end up in prison? Who will use every trick in the book, pull every single stunt, of course, within the law, but they will leave no stone unturned to make sure that you do not end up in prison. So would that pit bull attorney, would they be alpha or would they be beta? They will be alpha. So if you're not dealing with an alpha, ex-back coach, you're setting yourself up for a self-imposed prison where you will be in solitary confinement because you're not going to get your ex back because you did not listen to the right person. So ask yourself that next time you're wondering whose advice you should take. And by the way, if you're finding this helpful, I would appreciate if you would hit the like button so that we can help the YouTube algorithm refer this to other people. And yes, they too can hear me rant on about no contact and not getting in contact with your ex. So, you know, how many chances do you think you're going to have to do things correctly and get your ex back? You can't keep messing up and think that you'll still be able to get them back. And I have clients that come to me that they've been to other coaches or they didn't do things correctly. And now I'm supposed to fix everything. Not everything can be fixed. You can't continue to make mistakes and then think that you can magically get your ex back. Everything you need to do is in all my videos. You don't even have to do coaching with me. This isn't about me trying to get more coaching clients. Plenty of people have gotten their ex back without contacting me. And the best comment that I ever received, the best testimonial that I ever received that any coach could ever receive was a woman that said, just follow her blindly, meaning me. I did everything she said, and I'm now engaged to my ex. She didn't even do coaching. She listened to the videos. She didn't just listen to them. She implemented them. She did what she needed to do. I have a topic, a video on every single stage of breaking up, of getting an ex back, of whether you have kids together, whether you work together, etc., etc. How to respond, when to respond, if you should respond, what to say. It's all in the videos. You just have to listen to them and implement them and not follow your feelings. Your feelings do not have an IQ. You have to use logic. You have to use strategy. Otherwise, as I said at the beginning, if you know about no contact, and especially if you listen to the videos and you don't get your ex back, very likely it's your fault and you're going to regret it for a long, long time, unfortunately. And regret is a terrible thing to live with. And I don't want you to go through that. So please listen to me and do as I say in the videos. Okay. So if you want me to help you get your ex back, 
you can contact me at theartoflove.net. We will send you the rates, and the direct link to that is below every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.